Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Just leaving the gym. You know how it is. Um, it was push day. It was a good day. But anyways, we listened to some little bit of uh, Hamza video talking about his diet and. Now, you should just be eating things that are healthy for you, like pretty simple stuff really, just talking about how he eats stuff that doesn't touch plastics and, and um, stuff like that, and how you should be eating actual healthy stuff instead of just trying to meet your macros and protein, and protein is a macro, and fats and carbs and stuff like that, and you should just eat foods that are healthy for you basically but anyways this is a little bit different type of a video because I wanted to talk about uh, a book that I'm reading right now it's uh, Eric Thomas you can find him on YouTube he's a motivational speaker I actually really like him and he goes by I think he has some stuff under Eric Thomas or some stuff under ET the hip-hop preacher anyways, I'm reading his book right now, and it's called, uh, U-O-U. I don't know why it took me so long to remember that. But it's a really good book, and I'm in the part right now, I'm probably about halfway through, and he's talking about finding your why, and why you do things, and, like, what you want out of life, and why you do the things that you do. It got me thinking, like, do... I don't know about you, but personally, I never think about why I'm doing the things that I do. Like, I just do them. And it's kind of weird. I think we should start, we should start questioning the things that we do, our actions that we do every day, and ask ourselves why we're doing those things. Like, is it making us a better person? Or is it just something that we do? mindlessly to waste time or be entertained like going on social media and TikTok and stuff so ask yourself why you're doing the things you're doing and that kind of goes into another area that I was thinking about yesterday yesterday I didn't record a video because I rode the motorcycle me and my dad changed the oil in my motorcycle I got a KLX 230 Kawasaki dual sport so I rode that to the gym and I can't really record while I'm on the motorcycle but anyways yesterday so when I got home from the gym I couldn't record because my family was home so I journaled instead and I had some things I was thinking about from the book and it kind of goes into like the purpose of your life and what you want out of life and that's kind of something I've been thinking about for couple of years now and I really don't have an answer to that yet like I've been trying to think about it like what what do you want out of your life write me in the comments what's like what is the thing that at the end of end of your life you want to be able to say that you have have accomplished have experienced like what kind of person do you want to be and it's been something that I've just been trying to think about, figure something out. And so I wrote about it. And, you know, I don't know if you've ever journaled before, but I used to do it a lot. I need to start doing it more and have it become a daily thing that I do. Because it's really helpful in, like, understanding what you're thinking about and why you're thinking about it. Connecting ideas in your life. And I got to... a point where it was like kind of going off on a tangent but then I was like well I know I want to be financially free but why I started to question the why behind that and it's just because like I want freedom doesn't everybody want freedom like not to live in the control of someone else be able to live your own life and if you don't have money to live your own life then you're not free because then you always have to worry about money you're constantly being held back by the bills you have to pay and, and so it's tough because like and 
and I guess a lot of people would call this fortunate because I grew up in the comfortable in a middle class family, just like middle class neighborhood. But I thought I was fortunate too, and in some ways I am. I'm very grateful that I have all the stuff that I have, and that my my dad provides for our family, and we can do things. We're somewhat financially free to an extent, like depending on what we're doing. And where was I going with this? I just lost my train of thought. Oh, but anyways. Um, the things like the way that my family interacts and with each other and with other people just being from the middle class like the middle class that's one thing I've noticed is they all have this mindset where like they're all against each other like they're competing with these people you can't they don't work together at all like even within my family we're constantly competing with each other tearing each other down and it's like like, what's the meaning of family, right? And recently I watched the Fast and Furious movies, all of them, and that's a big part of those movies. Those are some great movies, by the way, if you want some movies to watch. And they all work together, they all play a role at, in a team that they call family, and that's how they're able to do all these big jobs. And that's one thing that I've noticed with most middle class people is like, they don't have that. That's like the biggest thing that they're missing. They don't work together. They're constantly competing with each other. They're like separated from each other. They're not a team. And so I think that's like what I want out of my life is to be able to have a team and a family with con constant, not constant, um, similar goals and interests and like we play roles for each other to help each other and because that's just not something I've ever seen or ever experienced and I feel like that would be that would add so much value to life to anyone's life and that's kind of what I'm trying to do with this discord link in the description by the way if you want to join it but it's really difficult and it's kind of annoying because like then it's online and you don't really see each other and like sure we can talk about our interests and goals and stuff but like I think it and I don't know because I've never experienced it but I think it would be completely different being around it in person rather than just online and so that's, I think that's what I figured out to be what I want out of life. Be free, which includes being financially free. And then uh, just having a team. Anyways, I had to cut the video right there real quick because I went down to the lake and there was a bunch of people walking in the road and stuff. And a bunch of people doing stupid things. So, where were we? So, I was talking about having a team and, um, like I've heard a lot of people say, a lot of different, like, influencers and stuff they talk about. When you ask a man what the best time of his life was, a lot of them that did play like college football or high school football, they'll be like, oh yeah, being playing high school football or, or something like that. But it wasn't actually just playing football. It was being a part of a team. And like, I played sports and they were always lower level teams. Like, like we weren't very good. So the team, and that's a big part why we were lower level I believe now because our team wasn't that close and like it wasn't a brotherhood because it would be a different team each year but when you have those teams like I used to play hockey and we'd play teams from Canada grew up playing together they would be on the same team every year the same kids they would just play together they all knew each other's play styles 
they were so much better than our team was. Just because we'd have different kids on our team each year. We wouldn't have the best coaching. Like, it was just a different level of commitment. And you can tell, like, when you play against teams like that, and you can tell, and that's the same thing in business, in any aspect of life, really. When you have a team of people that are willing, they're committed and, and they're, like, fully invested in their things. You can tell. And that's one thing, too, when I was thinking about what do I want out of life, right? And I want, like, obviously, we talked about being financially free. And the only way you can really do that is with a business. And so, with a business, and I've heard a lot of other influencers talk about, like, I guess business owners and and really, like, the really successful people in business, they talk about, you have to do one thing, and you do one thing really well, and that's how you become successful. And it's so difficult, because how do you find the one thing to dedicate your life to? If anyone let me, if anyone knows, let me know down in the comments or something. If you, how, I guess that's really my next mission to find an answer to that question as well as think about what I want out of life and and uh, the why behind it why I want that why I do the things I do is how do you find the thing to dedicate your life to and I guess a lot of people will say trial and error which I guess I'll have to try more things because I really don't have that many experiences so I'll work on that while I try to find if that's probably the answer but I'm gonna work on that because I don't know what the answer is for sure I'm gonna, so I'll do that and um, I don't know it's difficult But that's the fun part of it, right? Like, I remember I used to sit at home and play video games a lot. Like, just a couple of years ago, I would be playing video games all day, and it felt so good to level up. Like, one of my favorite games ever was GTA V Online, right? And you'd sit there, and you'd level up your character, different traits. Like, you could level up stamina, driving, flying, shooting, strength, um lung capacity, a bunch of stuff like that, and it felt so good to level all that stuff up on the game, now that I'm doing it here in real life, it's like, it's the same level of fun, but it's a different, it's actually a practical thing, a useful thing, instead of just being the video game, which that's one thing, I should have, when you get older, you hear your parents talking about things from when you're a kid, like stop playing video games, go outside. And you start to realize they're right about that stuff. But when you're a kid, they sound like they don't know much. So that's one thing that's kind of funny. But anyways, I'm going to wrap up the video there. If you want to join the Discord, link's in the description. Subscribe. And uh, share this video to a friend that you want that might be on self-improvement or that you might want to introduce self-improvement to. And uh, other than that, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.